She's had more number one singles than any female artist. She's already number one in millions and millions of arts. Give it up for the lovely Mariah Carey. <laughs> Too. Whoa. We really do. You think so? Yes, I do. Because oh, we don't have a lot of... All right, is this okay, you guys? You guys are watching. Is this... Is this... Are we have any problems here? You gotta let me know, because you're keeping it real with me. I'm gonna tell you the truth as well. So... <laughs> it's a pity now, because now I'm this side. I can't really see that side. It seems to be shining a lot more that side Sorry, than this darling, side. the dress is short. I'm sorry. I don't know, <laughs> you know, quite what to do, in fact. I just woke up. They told me... This is Bianca, my alter ego, actually. She's yeah. British. Right. But this morning, I woke up very early, and I went to the Rainbow Trust. Um, and it was... You know, my album is called Rainbow, and I've been trying since the beginning to figure out, like, a few different ways of trying to do some charitable works that would mm -hmm. be important and really work. Because anyway, I said I want to do something, uh, you know, where I can help benefit people. And it just so happened I heard about the Rainbow Trust, mm -hmm. and my album is called Rainbow. So they said, you can go and talk about it, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to donate next week all of the sales from Rainbow to uh, um, yeah. the Rainbow Trust. Well, every, every penny? My penny. Every penny you make on every this Every penny one? I would make. Now, I don't make as much as a record company makes, mind you. Anyway, so I said I've got to go there this morning. Right. Because I don't want to go be talking about something that I don't really understand. So I went, and what was very ironic for me was that um, I met Joe, who you the met little backstage. Guy, yeah, we met little Joe backstage. And, <laughs> and he's adorable. Not Joe that I'm going to sing with later, but the other Joe. Little Joe. Yeah, little Joe. And his whole family, and they are mixed race, and I'm mixed race. And I didn't realize that the family was going to be like a, a white mother and a black father. Right. And, you know, I'm very kind of like obsessed with that because in America, it's not so common. I think like more people here have experienced it than, yeah. than where I... Yeah, we're, we're not as, as, as strong and deep as how they were in America, like, you know. I grew up there and I grew up um, with a lot of like... Anger? Feelings. Was you angry? I wasn't angry, but I was insecure about myself. I didn't look like my friends. Why? What did they look like? Well, either black or white. <laughs> you're either you're black or you're white. But people don't, you know, they don't necessarily understand that. That, you know, even today, and I love Howard Stern, he's great, but he still to this day says, how can someone be Spanish and black? I don't believe her, she's lying. He doesn't want to accept that, you know. He doesn't want to accept my mixed culture. It's like, you know what, it's not that deep. No. Many people it makes not a big deal. You know what I mean? But in America, it's very difficult. So I feel like if I've done anything in my career, forget breaking records, mm -hmm. forget anything. If, if I've done anything, it's help mixed race kids have a role model. Because they write me and they talk to me and they yeah. tell me thank you. And I didn't have that okay. when I was growing up. So I feel good about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what was your first song you sang yourself? How old was you? Oh, the first song I sang. I don't know because I started singing when I started talking. Yeah? Yeah. That long? And whistling. Whistling, too. Not with the voice, but like, you know, like, what's the song that's in, like, but I could also do. <laughs> Wait 
can't see Mariah Carey do. <laughs> Come on, that's pretty good, right? Uh, that's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> you write all your own songs. Yeah, except when I do a cover of somebody. The only song I didn't write that wasn't a remake was with, with Whitney oh, Houston yeah? when we did we, uh, There Can Be Miracles When You Believe. You're their friend? I love Whitney. People can say what they want, but I love Whitney. I really do. I was there at the MTV Europe Awards the other yeah, day. Because we had so many things, you know, they said bring in oh, this. Oh, they lie, they make stuff up, but you know what? I was backstage applauding for her when she won her award. So mm -hmm. eat, drink, dance, whatever. That is a good person, and I appreciate her, and, and she's been an influence on so many people. Mm -hmm. And she was around long before me, so I have to give respect to the people that are pioneers right. that have done this. So what about now? Is there, is there a man in Mariah Carey's life now that loves Oh, darling, I know you've researched this, darling. I know you have, dear. You can't deny it, can you? Well, I... Well, now that you say it, darling. Now, now that you're being, <laughs> being so up across, you know. Absolutely. And speaking so properly. Well... Right. Now... Is there? On... What do you think? Well, there should be if there isn't. <laughs> Give it up for Mariah, which is great. Thank you. Tony. I'll write to you are smooth like a